Okay, in this um, video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up an equatorial mount, in particular, a star tracker, which is a simplified version of a fully capable equatorial mount. What we are going to try to do with an equatorial mount is to compensate the rotation of the Earth in order to achieve uh, longer exposures in the sky. As mentioned in the current section of this training course, this is uh, key to capture more details and faint objects of the night sky, like nebulas, galaxies, or globular clusters. The first thing you need to do is to level the tripod and the base of the equatorial mount. You will see that there are you will see that in the whole setup there are multiple bubble levels. You need to use the one that is closest to the equatorial mount base and use that as a reference. If you are in the southern hemisphere, you need to point the polar axis or the right ascension uh, towards the south celestial pole. The right ascension, sometimes in the equatorial mounts, it's referred to RA axis. If you are in the northern hemisphere, you will need the opposite. Um, so you need to point the polar axis to the uh, north celestial pole. The angle uh, of this axis with a horizon is the latitude of your location. So in the equatorial wage, you will find a scale, uh, which is, by the way, not uh, extremely accurate. Uh, and you will need to add, to incorporate additional uh, adjustments to achieve an accurate alignment. In order to do that, I'm going to use a uh, Skylab's uh, polar alignment adapter. In my case, I'm using a Star Watcher Star Adventurer, but the process is equivalent for other mounts. I'm going to explain how to set up this uh, with uh, other mounts and different phone applications. As you're going to see, this method is really quick and gives you a very accurate uh, polar alignment. If you want additional accuracy, you will need to take advantage of uh, the built-in polar scope. Having said that, this method is good enough for regular landscape astrophotography. From a fish eye lens or ultra-wide lenses to up to 200 millimeters, uh, this should be able to provide uh, the right performance. If you want to use a longer focal length because you want to use a uh, deep sky objects uh, as the photography, uh, you should consider a more capable equatorial mount. Usually, for a standard astrophotography, you need a right ascension and declination axis computerized, a guidance system, plate solving, and a different set of uh, software stack. Uh, we will see that maybe in the next uh, training course, more focus on uh, regular astrophotography, not that much in landscape astrophotography. If you are using iPhone, I externally suggest using the PS Align Pro. In order to use this application, you need to set up the Skylab's uh, Polar Alignment Adapter in a T-shaped form. So the phone is set in parallel to the polar axis. Okay, just um, open the, the application, uh, PS Align Pro. Uh, you will see that down below there are uh, three dots uh, menu that will open a zoom menu. Then you select the sun icon, which is a daytime no polar scope alignment. Uh, this will show three uh, concentric uh, circles and a cross with a dot in the center. Just moving the cross in the center of the of the concentric uh, uh, circles, you will ensure that the, the mount is properly aligned to the south uh, celestial pole or to the uh, north celestial pole. In order to do so, you are going to use the azimuth and the altitude screws. So this is suitable for any kind of um, uh, mount using Vixen dovetail mount adapter. Okay, in, in case you are using photopills 
which is available on iPhone and Android. You need to set up the Skylab's uh, polar alignment adapter perpendicular to the polar axis. This is also a situation uh, of um, a Sky Chucker Pro or uh, Sky Guider Pro from iOption. Uh, also for um, move, shoot, move, and uh, mount mini chuck LX3 from Omegon. I'm going to use this adapter in order to represent the other mounts that I'm not covering here. So as you can see, this will set up my mount in the same configuration as um, the other mounts I mentioned before, and it will uh, set up my phone in a perpendicular way of the uh, polar axis. In this case, the phone will point to the, towards the opposite celestial pole that you want to align to. So if you are in the northern hemisphere, your phone will point to the south. And if you are in the southern hemisphere, the phone will point to the northern celestial pole. In this case, we are going to open photo pills, navigate down to spot stars. And now we are going to click on AR uh, icon down below. This will provide a set of uh, concentric circles and a dot in the middle, which represents the, uh, the south celestial pole. As you can see, the cross aligned to that dot over there will represent the alignment, the red alignment of the equatorial mount. And as mentioned before, um, because I'm in the southern hemisphere, I'm pointing towards the northern celestial pole. And that's basically all you need to do. Just be careful when you plug the camera to avoid accidental misalignment. Remember, it is very important to balance the camera with the counterweight. When this mount is properly balanced, it works like a charm. The traditional polar alignment instructions are detailed in the next section of the training course, but there is no video tutorial about this topic. Please pay special attention to the calibration of the polar scope before you initiate the polar alignment with the polar scope. You will find more information and more details in section 11.3. Thank you.